I want to take a second and talk a little bit about images and other elements of design that you can put into your blog post that are really going to make your blog post look and feel a lot better to the user. It's important to make your article appeal to Google, being just right on topic, um, you know, spitting out the answer. All of those things really help Google love your post, but an important part of Google loving your post is for Google to realize that the readers love your post. And to get the readers or the viewers to love your post, you need to add different elements in to keep them interested, um, to make sure that they get all the information that they want. If someone comes into your post and they realize that it's not what they're looking for, they're just gonna click back and then they're gonna look for somebody else's article. But if you add a lot of different elements, there's a good chance that your reader will be intrigued and that they're going to find exactly what they need. So just a quick refresher, when adding images into your blog post, you're gonna click plus, you can just type in image, and then it will add an image block here. You can either upload from your computer. So if you're using an image service, you'll download those images from your image provider. Um, we use 123RF. And then you can upload the image here to your media library. Or if you already have the images in your media library, you can click select image, media library, and then it will take you to all of the images that are already here in your media library. And then you click the image. You can change any of the alt text, title, caption, or description if you'd like. Um, it's not 100% necessary. If you don't, it's not going to hurt anything. And then there you go. You have your image there, your image there in the post. Um, something that is one of my little pet peeves that just makes it either look nice or a little bit janky is just make sure your images are aligned center. They're going to automatically align left, but if you click this little box here, you can just align it center. It doesn't change how it looks in the back end of your site, but it will definitely change how it looks on the front. So align your, your images center. Um, another thing that you need to make sure you do is come over here to the right hand um, sidebar, click post, go down the side, click featured image, and then you're going to set a featured image. So when, you, when your uh, viewers are looking through your blog roll, it just shows a little nice featured image um, for them to see. So you'll set that featured image by just clicking select image and going through the same process. Um, other design elements, um, little tables are really great. If you have a little bit of data that you'd like to display, you can do like a, you know, like a three, you know, three column table and then have different rows. If you're comparing products, if you're looking at different breeds of an animal, if you're looking at any of those sorts of things where you can show some basic data, in a more helpful way than in just paragraph style, that's a great design element. You might think that it doesn't look that good, um, but if it's really helpful to the user, then it's a design element that's really helpful. Um, another design element that you can use to break up the text are pull quotes or any sort of quote. And there is a quote option here, so you can choose the pull quote, quote or verse. If you do a pull quote, and then you can just see it kind of highlights the text a little bit and you can even just pull a sentence out of what you've already written and pull quote it if it's worth pull quoting. Um, quote yourself, it's fine. You can quote anybody, um, but it just adds a nice element of design. Another thing you can do are make little infographics. Um, a way that you can do this for free, we use Canva. You can use Photoshop if you have Photoshop. You could use Paint if that's, that might be a little more on the basic side, but if that's what you have, it will work. Um, any place where you can import an image, uh, put some shapes or text over it to you know tell a story or make a point. So if I'm talking about um, a goat feeding schedule. Maybe I make a little infographic with broken up into three sections, you know, morning, noon, and night. And then maybe I could put like a little picture of a sun in the daytime, a little moon at the nighttime, something like that. And then talk about, you know, put a little couple sentences about, you know, what or when or how to feed a goat at that time. Just a little design element that just adds a little bit more value to your post. All of these things are going to help your post look a lot better. Um, you know, make sure you need your featured image. You at least need a few images throughout the post. If you take your own images, that's even better than finding stock images. Um, but overall, that's just going to help your post look better, be more appealing to the user. Um, and in the end, it will help Google want to show your post to other people because it's going to have that value that's just more than the text. The last thing that I would say about images is make sure that the images you show are correct. 
If I'm writing a post about an Angora goat, which is a specific breed of goat, I don't want to put a picture of a different breed of goat in the article. It's gonna make it look like I don't know the difference. Even if I do, and I just couldn't find a picture of an Angora goat, so I put a pygmy goat instead, it's gonna look like I have no idea what I'm talking about. So make sure that the images you choose are correct. Now this can be especially tricky if you're using stock images. Here's an example. So I typed in Angora goat. So you can see here, um, these first few uh, photos at the top show, say Angora goats in the rural African free range farm close-up of Angora goat. So it uses Angora in the title, which generally will be correct. Sometimes it's not. We have found that that's not always the case. This is what I wanna show you. There are gonna be keywords, and this is how the stock image um, companies uh, sort their images so that when you search that, they'll be, that you'll be able to find what you need. So you can look at the keywords they use to tag the image. This one says Angora goat, Africa, African, agriculture, animal. So if you're looking for a specific breed, check the tags and see if it actually, if that breed was tagged in this image. Um, I'll go back here. If I scroll down a little bit, since I typed in Angora goats, I could easily think that all of the pictures on this page will be of an Angora goat. Um, not the case. Look here. I see a white goat stands sideways amongst black goats in a goat pen in the summer. If I look through all the keywords here, um, there's no mention of Angora goats. And so just be careful to make sure the images you use are correct uh, so that when you actually put them in, you will look like you know what you're talking about. All right, go add some more images to your post or a couple other design elements that just level up your post. If you haven't done it already, it's always good to do it while you're creating your post. But if you haven't, you can go ahead and do it now.